hey you guys welcome back to my channel guys i know i've been gone for like forever but i promise you guys i'll be back i will be back in like a few more weeks just give me a few more weeks but while i'm here today i want to share this tour with you guys so as you guys know for some of y'all who's on my Snapchat, I'll be doing Snapchat takeovers. But I have going on on my Snapchat, like people go up on my Snapchat and do Snapchat takeovers. I do makeup, skincare routine, or whatever. So if you think you'd be interested in that, you could just DM me and my Instagram name right on the bottom right here for y'all. But um, yeah, I also put my Snapchat name for y'all to follow me, whatever. But, um, yeah, I was on someone else's Snapchat doing a makeup takeover on someone else's Snapchat. Her name is Roslyn. Um, why someone messaged me why I don't use the LA Girl Pro orange color corrector. That, um, corrector is, um, as I said before, orange color corrector. And sometimes, I don't know if y'all ever used it before and y'all see it come right through the foundation or whatever. I started using that and it was working out but after a while I'm trying to remember I'm trying to bet better myself at doing my makeup and whatever so if I found out that this is not gonna work this is just not gonna work so I stopped using it and I find the other solution which which I came up with by myself because I'm like if the other rest of concealers if that orange color concealer can um, conceal over dark areas, because it's for um, covering dark spots and whatever, as you guys know. These screenshots of what this child said to me. Um, what I was going to say. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I use toast to cover darker areas um, since like maybe like five going into four months now. I started doing that and it works better. So, as I was doing my makeup on that platform, this girl messaged me, um, why don't I use the orange color corrector in LA Girl, from LA Girl. I'm like, um, why, why, why you ask that? She's like, because the orange color corrector is for dark skin it's for covering up darker areas on dark skinned girls i'm like excuse me like you can tell me what you you can even tell first of all she's gonna tell me she's a light skinned person like if you're a light skinned person how are you gonna tell me what works for dark skin first of all you cannot I, i'm dead ass like if you are shade lighter than me or two shade three shades whatever shade lighter than Especially if you way off like seriously, you cannot Tell me what to use on my skin. First of all, I've learned that when I was just getting into makeup When I was going to Mac like You have the lighter skin girls you ask them. Oh, what shade you be they tell you um NC 45 They don't know like you have to ask people like I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing But sometimes I, I just don't think like people with different shade from me or different color from me know what works for me like you don't you just don't know what works for me i try to find people that's like the closest to my skin um tone to watch do their makeup so i said okay maybe that will work for me or to ask for advice on makeup so yeah that's how i do that's how i've been doing since like maybe two years ago whatever going into makeup or a year ago whatever i don't remember but yeah anyway yeah story continues she said that to me so i said she said um it, it used on dark skin girls that's what dark skin girls should use to cover whatever then she said then i said okay it works for you she said that's the purpose of it to work on for, to work on dark skin girl then she's gonna tell me the green works for light skin and whatever then i say you cannot tell me you just can't tell me what works for dark skin you just can't first of all you just tell me you are light skin so then she's gonna say i use the green and i'm light skin i'm like duh you said that before you light skin then she took a screenshot telling me she's gonna tell the girl that, she, that i took over a platform that i'm very rude and i'm disrespectful and i'm i'm what did she say <laughs> and i'm rude she said a whole bunch of stuff y'all then um then i said to her i'm like listen 
I'm just telling you, you cannot tell me what works for me. I'm like, listen, I'm doing my makeup now and I'm using the toast to cover up my darker areas. Do you see my makeup, the look that I'm going for going bad or whatever? If you see the look that I'm going for going bad, as in you see the concealer through the foundation or whatever, then you start to give advice. You know, it's not like I post the concealer and say, you guys, I'm using this concealer, but it doesn't really work for me. Do you guys know of any other concealers that I could use? You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. You could um, say something. I mean, I didn't ask for your opinion. If I throw it out there, then you could throw it at me. That's what I'm basically saying. So, you guys, I really want to, like, take this to y'all to see what y'all think about what I said to her. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people come in and say, don't don't listen to her. She's crazy. She don't know. And first of all, you're using a color near to your um, foundation that it will just um, exit as into each other and work better. You're not using a whole different color from your foundation. I think that's better too. Because if I'm using toast, toast is close to my foundation. If I'm using that to color my darker areas, it's it means it's going to even out my skin even better. I'm not going to be seeing something orange on my skin. Again, like the more you do makeup it's the more you learn you're just gonna keep learning if you keep doing it right so basically that's what i thought i'll share with you guys from my first video back because i've been gone from y'all for a while and i thank y'all for sticking around and welcome to all the new subscribers yes i see a lot of y'all from my snatch hey y'all got the right <laughs> but yup so basically that's what i wanted to share you guys this girl talk a whole bunch of stuff and then when i finished the look on her um the girl's um snapchat she screenshotted it and then i i was telling the platform what happened and then she's gonna say what's she saying She's gonna say, oh, well, that's my point. It's not working for you. It's, it looks a mess. You forced me to say this. Sorry, not sorry. Like, let me show you guys uh, the look. Listen, I just can't with people. People is crazy. People been crazy. And people still crazy. This is the array. I don't know, you guys. I'm outside doing this video for y'all. I'm sitting outside. But you guys can hardly see. Oh my god. But the, right, look at that. This is the look. This is not even the edit picture or nothing. I'm gonna show you an edit picture now of the look. Wait, let me see. So yeah. That's the look that I created. Look at my face. Like I use the orange color corrector under my eyes, um, around my mouth. On under here where I dark bum spots and whatever and look at my makeup like what are you saying and this is what I use today I just did this um look on a takeover on baddest Benty snapchat and yeah I didn't record this look for y'all but I'm gonna start recording soon since I know it's nice out here I probably could get up two videos outside coming up maybe like in the next week or so for y'all but you guys thank you thank you thank you so much and let me know what you all think about this situation because this girl i think this girl is crazy then she's gonna tell me she's gonna tell the owner of this and like is the girl my mom so i screenshot everything and i had to save everything because this child this child is crazy i got a lot of different makeup artists in my phone because a lot of people take it from my snapchat so yes as I said before, when I just started, if you're interested in doing a takeover on my Snapchat, just hit me up on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram name right here. And you guys, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. And welcome again to all new subscribers. Don't, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you run across this video and you happen to watch it. <laughs> subscribe. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So you guys, I did want to do a piece of the video outside. I did want to do a little piece outside. But anyways, all I gotta say is, like, if you come on my Snapchat and you're trying to do a takeover and you find people like that, that girl that come for me, like, just block them. Like, you don't have to respond. Because really, if I, I really didn't respond, I just shared what she said. 
to the platform that I was on, like literally like show people what's going on. I right, I really like to do that, no lie. Some people really look at this at um messy or drama or whatever, but nah, I like to put those stuff to my viewers to say like where did I go wrong? Like why was somebody gonna do this? Why was someone gonna do that, you know? But yeah, basically that's what happens. And all I gotta say, if you're in a situation like that, just try to move on past that because you will definitely find people that's gonna be like that. But talk about how my face is so popping outside at night. I don't really want to do this video like this outside. I'm gonna make it so popping. We're tuning in. I know somebody's gonna ask, oh, what shadow palette you use? So the palette I use today is Mark 35B palette, and these pigments are from. Where are these pigments from? I'm not sure, but I'll leave it down in the description box because somebody's gonna ask. It's a pigment, these pigments, but it's the other colors, but these two left out, so yeah. But y'all, let's talk about this look, and I'll see you in my next one.